and modern astronomy was born. The Earth. It's not at the centre of the solar system. The sun is. The moon. The angle has landed. Walking across new terrain and planting a flag. It's astonishing to think how far we've come. Absolutely wonderful. The discoveries. Mars was once blue. The endless possibilities. The James Webb Space Telescope marks the latest steps in our astronomical journey. The unknown. There is a lot more to it than that. A mission in search of answers. Space and science. Watch on BBC4 and iPlayer. Over the next seven years, this ambitious series will chart the health of six of our planet's most vulnerable habitats. The challenges ahead are huge, but we have everything at our fingertips to fix this. Our Changing Planet starts tonight at 7 on BBC One and iPlayer. This is BBC News. Welcome if you're watching here in the UK or around the world. I'm Tim Wilcox. Our top stories. Voters in France cast their ballot in the final round of the country's presidential election. Incumbent Emmanuel Macron is hoping for a second term in office. His challenger, Marine Le Pen, seeks to replace him. Though to turn out lower than five years ago, the result could be unpredictable. As Russia's war on Ukraine enters its third month, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken is expected in Kyiv, the first top US official to go there since the invasion. Japan says 10 people have died off the northern island of Hokkaido after a sightseeing boat went missing on Saturday. Hello and welcome to the programme. It is crunch time in France as Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen go head to head in the battle to become the nation's next president. Polling stations will begin closing in exactly two hours from now in rural areas. Those in major cities, though, will stay open for an additional hour. First indications are that turnout is slightly lower than in the 2017 presidential election when both were in the runout. Runoff at midday, turnout was uh, just over 26%. That's a 15 year low. If Emmanuel Macron wins, he will be the first French president to be re elected to the Elysee in 20 years. For Marine Le Pen, this is her third attempt at winning the presidency, and if she fails, it could potentially be her last. Our Europe correspondent Nick Beek has the latest on the presidential runoff from Paris. Emmanuel Macron cast his ballot.